just literally can't apply as that foster care in them. We love you, thank you very much, wherever you are. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy. I am a UK adoptive mum of two young children here in the UK. I have a specialism in early years. I did a lot of training in early years and I work in early years as well. So I wanted to share something with you that I know a lot of people who aren't involved in childcare in early years and haven't heard it through a friend of a friend of a friend who already goes to nursery. A lot of people don't know this. Your child is entitled to free childcare. So I am not a huge advocate of sending my child to nursery all day every day and that is my personal opinion. It doesn't matter what you choose to do. There is absolutely no judgment here. But let's be honest guys, everybody needs some kind of a break and not everybody is lucky enough to have family and friends around the corner that are always available to do that. So if you are in the adoption circle and your child or children entered your family through the form of adoption, then you will be entitled most likely disclaimer but as far as i'm aware it's most local authorities then your child will be entitled to 15 hours of funded child care each week for 38 weeks of the year which usually works out kind of term time only when the schools are open this is because your child has been in care at some point in their life so if you check with your local council you can usually check on their website under the section early years but generally if you give them a call they'll be able to answer you very quickly as well if that is the circumstance you will be entitled to that 15 hours of funding. That funding covers all of your childcare costs and it also covers all of your meal costs. Some nurseries may charge you additional extras for certain hours, depending on how the funding works, but you can discuss that with your local nursery. But definitely go and look around a few nurseries. Um, I'll link my video up above, which talks about how you could look at choosing a nursery and the things that are important when you go to look around nurseries. So the funding, how does it work? You can usually apply through your council website. The council that we applied through was nice and easy, nice and quick and nice and simple. The council will then send you a confirmation letter to confirm that you are eligible. It will state your child's name, their date of birth, and you then use this letter when you go to a nursery and when you find a nursery as your evidence that you are eligible. They might photocopy it, don't give them your original, um, but you can take that and then that is your evidence. This funding is usually called time for twos, although this may differ in um, different local authorities and different nurseries. I'm gonna say almost again, but I'm pretty sure it's all. Almost every childcare provider that accepts funded children will accept children under the time for twos funding. The funding kicks in the term after your child's second birthday, so that term will either start at the beginning of, beginning of April, the beginning of September, or the beginning of January. So for example, if they're born in May, the funding will start from September. If they're born in October, but the funding will start from January and if they're born in February for example it will start from April I think you get the gist and they receive three full terms so a full academic year of this funding so if they get it from September it will run all the way through until the end of July and then from the following September they will be entitled to their three-year-old funding which is the universal 15 hours of funding which again disclaimer but I'm pretty sure I've never come across anybody who isn't entitled yet every three-year-old regardless of being through care adoption, anything like that, is entitled to the universal 15 hours the term after their third birthday. So effectively, you could start your little one in nursery for 15 hours a week, or you could split it and spread it across the year and do less, but them not have to come out in the school holidays if the setting is open in the school holidays. That's confusing. Um, and then they could stay in that childcare then until they go to school. If both parents in the household are working when your little one turns three or the term after their third birthday, then you will be entitled to an additional 15 hours of three-year-old funding, which means you get a total of 30 hours each week. That either means that you could do 30 hours every week term time only or you could spread that across the year and you could do sort of less but you could do that consistently across the year the same as with a two-year-old funding the spread works slightly different for each kind of funding but your nursery provider would be able to explain all of your options to you the three-year-old funding does not quite cover as much as the two-year-old funding it's not as much cost wise and it is more for education than it is for food and snacks and things like that so sometimes you will pay you'll pay more extra for the three-year-old funding than the two-year-old funding but yeah i hope that helps i just want to spread awareness of this because adoption can be hard parenthood can be hard and if you are not as likely to access after adoption support or you don't know what's out there then you don't know what help you can get and actually going to nursery for one half day a week 
two full days a week, whatever you decide, can be really beneficial for their social development and for every other area of learning. But if you don't see that many other mums and that many other kids, then you can go and have a break. You can do your housework, whatever you choose to do with that time. And it's financially viable for everybody because it's free. I'll link some other videos above that I think will be helpful on my channel for you. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button down below. I am going to give as much information as I can around UK adoption. And as I say, I've got a specialism in early years. If you've got any questions for me around that, please let me know. If not, I will see you on Monday or Friday. Bye guys.